Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be discussing how to change your Netflix region using a VPN. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can use a VPN to watch the shows that you want to watch, no matter where you are in the world, and later on give you my top three best VPNs for Netflix. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of these VPNs a try, you'll find a discount link available in the description down below to save you some extra money. So now, Netflix is available in almost 200 countries worldwide. But due to agreements with production studios and copyright laws, some content is only available in certain countries. In other words, the selection of shows and movies on your Netflix account may differ from users in other regions of the world. So the content that you can actually access depends on your location, as Netflix is allowed to stream specific content only in agreed upon regions. So this can be problematic if let's just say maybe you're traveling or you want to watch specific content, which is why many people turn to virtual private networks as a solution to access the content they desire. However, there are some countries where restrictions on VPNs are in place, and using one could result in potential issues. So for example, countries such as China, Iran, and Russia have strict laws on VPN usage. It's worth noting, that while it is technically against Netflix terms of service to use a VPN to alter their service, it's not illegal. So Netflix will not necessarily shut down your account if you're caught using a VPN. The worst case scenario would be you'll encounter an error page, not more than that. Now let's talk about how a VPN allows access to different content. It connects you to an intermediary server, disguising your IP address and making it appear as if you're located in a different country. So this tricks Netflix into thinking you're accessing content from a different location. And I'm gonna demonstrate the process for you so you get a better understanding. So first of all, you'll need to download and install a VPN of your choice as not all VPNs can access Netflix. So it is important to choose a reliable one. Next, you'll have to use the VPN to connect to the country from which you wish to access Netflix. So this is relatively straightforward and even though VPNs have different interfaces, the process usually involves clicking on a location on a map or selecting the country's name from a list. So for example, if you're in the US, your Netflix library will look similar to this. The US has the most extensive library with around 6,000 titles. But if you want to watch a show that isn't available in your library, but available, let's just say, in the UK Netflix library, all you have to do is take a little virtual holiday and select the UK on your VPN which will create a secret tunnel and you'll just need to refresh or log into your Netflix account. Maybe grab some snacks and then press play. But now, for example, if you were located in the UK and you wanted to access the US library, you just follow the same process. And so the top five largest Netflix libraries happen to be in the United States, Canada, the UK, India, and Australia. So really, there's a lot to access. And you aren't just limited to the UK or the US, for example. Because in terms of alternatives, using a reliable VPN to access Netflix is the most secure and reliable method available. So for example, maybe some of you have tried using proxy servers to access Netflix. It's not a safe option as it does not encrypt your data, making you vulnerable to many security risks. Additionally, VPNs have many other uses, such as anonymous browsing and the ability to make anonymous payments with cryptocurrency. So now I'm gonna tell you my top three best VPNs with large server lists so you can access almost any library you want. And so I've been testing out some of the most popular VPNs out there and I've narrowed them down to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark as my top three picks overall. Now, all three VPNs work remarkably well with streaming services. They provide some of the best speeds, they're very easy to use, and they also have the necessary security features, such as a kill switch, split tunneling, and a bunch of protocols. But of course, they still vary in what features they offer and how much they cost. And picking out the best service for you will depend on what you're looking for in a VPN. So let me break down each service individually to help you make a more informed decision. First up, we have ExpressVPN, which is overall the best pick as it came first in most major categories like speed, security, and privacy. Now, in terms of reliability, ExpressVPN has proven its commitment to protecting user data several times by conducting many audits over the years. On top of going through a real-life stress test where the Turkish government sees one of its servers in an ongoing investigation, only to find nothing that can be linked to any specific user. 
Now, other than that, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, allowing you to access almost any content from all around the world. But what's so impressive about these servers is their consistency and reliability. Whether I'm streaming, gaming, or torrenting, I've had great speeds and uninterrupted connections. And besides being super simple to use, my favorite thing about ExpressVPN is how responsive it is across all devices. Launching the app only takes a few seconds and connecting to any server takes a single second or less, which isn't something that I can say about any other VPN. And so if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable VPN out there, ExpressVPN is your go-to. Next up, we have NordVPN, which offers the most value for money out of the three options. It's got some bonus features that make it a little bit more than just a simple VPN. Such features include threat protection, which blocks ads and malware-ridden websites, and also protects your device from harmful files. And in terms of speeds, NordVPN actually rivals ExpressVPN, especially when it comes to gaming and overall performance. Although it's got over 5,800 servers in 60 countries, so 45 less countries, which means access to less content than Express, but more servers will mean that the user base is more widely spread across the servers, so basically more room for everyone to use. And another thing I really liked about NordVPN is its intuitive user interface, which has a huge map of all of its servers, allowing you to pick and choose the closest server to you with a couple of clicks. And when it comes to device limits, NordVPN allows you to protect up to six devices with one subscription. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is gonna be the best budget VPN on this list. Because unlike ExpressVPN and NordVPN, Surfshark allows you to protect an unlimited number of devices under one subscription, which is great for households and businesses. Now, it might not be as fast as these two, but it offers the essential VPN features on top of some bonus ones, like an ad blocker, two type of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful in restrictive countries. Not only that, but it offers a huge server list of over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which gives it a lot of value. And so if you're looking for the best budget VPN that allows unlimited simultaneous connections on top of having the core features of a VPN, Surfshark is your go-to. So to sum it up, if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable service with arguably the best privacy policy out there, ExpressVPN is easily your go-to option. NordVPN is going to be the one to get if you're looking for a well-rounded VPN that offers bonus features while maintaining great performance and security for a reasonable price. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is the best budget VPN as it allows for unlimited connections and it offers the core features of a premium VPN at the cheapest possible cost. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Now, out of curiosity, I actually spoke with Express, and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on monthly renewals than they would have with a yearly plan, because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly thinking they don't need it that long, but unfortunately, they end up spending more money than they would have gone with a year plan, especially especially with a discount code we provided down below. So ultimately, if you know that you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, you should definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance that you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with the year plan. And if you change your mind or realize you know you don't need it that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.